So today's video is going to be a massive catch up video. I have been wanting to do this video for months and months and I decided that I would do it as kind of like a get ready, casual, just chit chat, laid back video. Throughout the whole video, like I said, I'll be doing Pippa. <laughs> <sighs> Throughout the whole video, you're going to hear that from my dog. <laughs> but in the video, I'm going to be doing my makeup. I didn't really talk about the makeup too much. I just kind of did it and went with the flow and just more so talked about where I have been for like the past six months. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing this. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. But basically, that's about it. Like I said, it's a long video, so I'll get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into it. First off, I don't know if this audio is going to be any good at all because it's a new microphone, so please let me know in the comments down below if this sucks. I bought this microphone because this room has, well, this whole house has really, really tall ceilings, so there is a bad echo. <laughs> And I have a puppy at my feet, so you're going to hear possibly a lot of noises. So let me know what you think of the sound quality. Come here. Come here. Come here. I will introduce Pippa in a minute. At first, I just want to kind of go through all the things that I wanted to for this video. But here she is just for a quick second. Ah, you little bitch. So, yeah, you're going to be hearing Pippa throughout this whole video. Unfortunately, I'm the only one home right now. And she's a bit clingy and annoying. So, yeah. So you're going to be hearing her throughout the whole video. You also might see her running around because see this plant right here? This is a new plant and she's decided that she wants to eat the dirt out of it. So you're going to be seeing her a lot in this video. I'll introduce her a little bit later though. Oh my God. So for today's video, I figured I would just get ready in front of you guys and run through exactly why I have been missing from YouTube. So I'll get right into it because I have to be ready in exactly 30 minutes. So so where have I been? What has been going on? Just why have I disappeared from YouTube for such a long time? There's like a plethora of reasons, which is what I'm going to discuss in this video for you guys. So I'll go all the way back to October last year, which is when the last time you guys saw me regularly making videos, it was kind of the last time that I was on any sort of a schedule, which that being said, even so, like I was only making one video a month, so it wasn't really like a massive set schedule, but that was really the last time that you guys saw me making normal videos. So it was around October last year that something kind of changed my living situation. So there were a couple of videos after the month of October, which would kind of suggest what happened, but essentially I moved out of home. Um, um, which was really really hard for me like I've never lived out of home and also I'd finally just set up my room exactly how I wanted I don't know if you guys can remember it, but it was finally like designed all nice and proper and everything and um, Just due to a family circumstance. I had to move out of home. Well, I didn't have to I chose to move out of home So that was the first reason why my videos kind of slowed down I moved out of my family home and I moved in with Jake's family and we lived there until about March this year so I was there for quite a couple of months and that's why you guys would have seen my background change. So I think I only made one or two videos with that background because it was such a hard room to film in. Jake's bedroom, which was where I was practically living, it was light blue walls and it was just the worst thing for color balance. It would make me look so orange. It was just an absolute nightmare with regards to making videos. So that's why I kind of stopped making videos at that point because I was not happy with the quality. I was not happy with just what I was putting out. I thought it looked crappy. It took me a lot to edit just because it looked so crappy. So that's why I stopped there. So that's kind of what happened towards the end of the year. I also got a full-time job in November. So I originally went for a job at my local university and I did not get it, but I volunteered at that place for a couple of weeks just to kind of build my experience and um, a couple of weeks after that I was offered the job that I have now which is just like a basic admin job. So I started working full time from November so that took up obviously a lot of my time. I had to settle into a new job. It was just kind of like a massive change period like moving house, starting a new job. It was just a lot going on. So. That was mostly another reason why I stopped. So I started that job, which is where I am now, but a lot has happened in the leeway between that. So I was working there from November and I really, really loved it. It was in a totally different industry. Like my history is either in retail or it's in teaching. So it was a totally left of field thing. And I kind of really, really adjusted to it very quickly and I still really enjoy it to this day. Like I said, it's where I'm working now. And then in January, um, I actually got contacted by the university and they offered me the job that I had gone for back in November, the one that I originally wanted. So they contacted me directly and said, look, the person we hired didn't work out. Would you like it? 
And I think it's largely because I volunteered there for a couple of weeks and I thought, hell yeah, like this is such an amazing opportunity that has landed at my feet. Like I'd be crazy not to take this. And like, if I'm completely honest, it was a lot more money than the job that I'm at now and that where I was at the time. So it was very hard for me to decide to go, but I did decide to accept that job, which was due to start in January. So again, I would have been starting a whole new job all over again. And she's been stealing dirt already. I wonder if you guys saw that. So that was for January. Pippa, wait, no, honey, no. So anyways, yeah, that's bringing us up to January. Also in January, I decided to get my eyebrows tattooed. I don't know if you guys can notice a difference. I don't have any makeup on them at the moment, so hopefully you do. Um, but in January, I got my eyebrows tattooed. I got them done at a place in Newcastle called Arch Cosmetic Tattooing. I said tattooing funny then, but um, it was like a really easy decision for me to make to get cosmetic tattooing done for my eyebrows or microblading whatever you want to call it because mine were just in such bad shape like literally they were a terrible shape it's something that I struggled with for ages so when I'd finally gotten back to working full-time I saved up my money and I decided to get that done. So I got that done in January. So it was right around the time I was starting this new uni job. Everything was going millhouse. It was all good. So it was just kind of like a really good phase of my year for that year, especially after having to like move house and change my whole situation and everything and so on and so forth. So it seemed like things were finally starting to go a bit better. But then when I started the uni job, I very quickly realized that there was a reason why that person left that job. It was not... I don't know how to word this, but it wasn't exactly the way that the role should be. So my role title there at the university was a student services officer. So I was the person that, you know, all the uni students would come and see if they're having any issues with their study, if they want to change their um, degree path or anything. And very quickly I realized that I was just kind of like, not an admin assistant, but I did not value my role at all. Whereas the job that I just come from, which is where I am now. I hope I'm not confusing you guys, but that role I felt valued because I knew that every day it mattered if I turned up. Whereas at this university job, I didn't really feel like I mattered at all. I don't know, it just didn't suit me. I'm someone who likes to go to work and actually do work and actually feel like I mattered for the day. So unfortunately I did decide to leave that job very quickly. It was within the first week I knew. It just did not sit well with me at all. So that was very hard for me to process because I had just left a really great job for this seemingly better job with better pay, better everything, like less travel. It was just, it seemed like the perfect job and it didn't work out. So I was back kind of like in the slums, kind of what am I going to do? What's just, I don't know, I was so up in the air. So this all happened in January and at that time I contacted my old employer and I said, look, this has happened. Um, if my old job is still available, I'm happy to take it. And it was at that point, which I don't want to give too much away, but my current employer and the employer that I had before the uni were a non-for-profit organization. So we get all of our funding from the government. And unfortunately at the time when I had left, the funding was already relatively down. So they couldn't employ a new person, even though I'd already worked there, I hadn't cleared my probation period. So I was technically classified as a new employee. So they couldn't take me back straight away, which was really, really disappointing, but it's totally like fine. It was my fault for leaving in the first place. Um, and like they said, well, we really, really want you back, but there's just, we don't have the money for it. We don't have the approval. My hair is really annoying me. But yeah, so then all of a sudden I had no job. I went from having one job to kind of two jobs and moved into a better one to nothing. So that was a really, really hard time for me to admit that I had done wrong. Not wrong in the fact that I didn't go by what I wanted. I'm 100% glad that I went with my heart and my feeling, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted. So that was again a hard point of my life, I guess. And so in that time, so between January and March, I was just crazily looking for work. I needed work, I needed money, but I did end up getting a, a little small admin job at a large engineering company and I really, really loved it. Pay attention to the word loved because obviously I've since left it. A lot has happened in this time that I've been gone, you have no idea. And in this job, I had this really, really cool boss. Like he was obviously super successful, super rich, super everything. And I was kind of like his own personal assistant. I was booking all of his trips and everything. And it was just a really cool, different take on work that I'd never done before. But again, I'm saying did work there. Obviously I'm not there anymore. And the reason for that is because I got offered my old job back, which is where I am now. 
at the original workplace from the very start and they also offered me just a couple of different career opportunities. So to not go into it too much because I obviously want to keep a bit of my privacy. I work in employment services and I'm kind of like an admin role-ish. I also do a lot of a training aspect and courses that kind of thing. I have a hand in that which is definitely the career path that I want to go in which ultimately is why I left the job that I was happy at at the engineering company. I know this is going to get so confusing for you guys but ultimately again it came down to this seems like a great opportunity I'm going to jump on it and I will mention very early on now that the job that I'm at now the one with employment services that work with people to find them work is the lowest paying job out of all three that I've worked in yet it's the one that I enjoy the most so it was a very hard decision for me because obviously I want to become independent I want to be able to buy my own home I want to do all these things and I'm picking a job that pays the lowest so it's been a hard process for me to come to terms with that just because like the university job paid I think like $17,000 a year more than the job I'm at now. So it is a significant difference, it's a significant like downgrade, I guess is the word, but I'm all about finding happiness, not money. So that's where I am at the moment. So that's what's been going on for me work-wise. There's been a lot going on. You can also tell that I'm obviously not at my mum's house and I'm also not at Jake's house. I am in my own house finally. So in March this year, Jake and I, we finally decided, look, we're not going to be able to buy our own house straight away. Like I have to get settled with work. This is all holding on me, which I feel absolutely terrible for. It's something I'm really struggling with, but obviously with me changing my career so much, it's put a massive hold on us buying a house because I don't have a strong enough working history to get a home loan. And so um, we decided, look, let's just rent for the time being. Like, it's not going to be terrible. I did not want to rent originally just because I find it's not a very good investment in your money. I used to see it as wasted money, but now I see it a little bit differently. I, I don't know. I won't go into it too much, but we're renting this house. So it's just Jake and I and Pippa, the puppy, which you'll probably hear her running around right now. It's just Jake and I in this small house. It's only two bedroom, um, but it's enough for us. It's plenty for us. And obviously we have this spare room for me to do YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So it's worked out really well for us. Um, this house is actually owned by my dad and he lives behind us. So it's been like really different to have my dad living so close to me because like my parents separated when I was three. So I've never had my dad live so close to me for such a long extended period of time if that makes sense i would only go see him once a fortnight so to have him there it was kind of like an adjustment it was kind of like i moved out of home with my mum, who i'd lived with my whole life and i'm kind of moving in with my dad but not really like i don't know how to word that but hopefully that makes sense so that's been another learning curve um but we're really loving it like I've finally been able to use all of the homewares and everything that I've been saving all this time. And yeah, it's just been a really good experience for Jake and I. We, um, when we were living at his parents' house, so when we were both living in his room, we just became very cluttered, very cramped. And I think the urgency to move out really gave us a kick up the ass just so we could have our own space. We could have our own independence and finally kind of get started with our life, which meant renting. And like I said, I've come to terms with, I'm okay with it now, but it took me a bit to come around to. But like I said, on the upside of those things, like we have our own space. We can do whatever we want with this and I'm really, really happy with it. So that's kind of what's been going on with our living situation. We're finally settled. I'm finally back at the job that I love. I've been there for three months now. So I'm finally settled in that instance. We've been in this house since March. So we've been here for a couple of months as well and we love it here. It's quiet, it's relaxed, it's our own space. Um, obviously we have Pippa, which she's just run off. Otherwise I'd pick her up for you guys and introduce her. She is our four month old Pomeranian puppy and she has been an absolute bundle of joy and a bundle of work ever since we got her. She is a bag of beans. I don't know if you can see her, there she is. Yeah, so she has just been an absolute bundle of joy. As you guys might be aware, I have wanted a Pomeranian for years. So to finally have one, even if she's a rat bag like that, I'm really, really happy with her. So like I said, she's only four months old, but she's pretty well full grown in terms of her size. So I don't know if you saw before, but she is very small. Oh, here she is. Hang on, I'll see if she wants to say hello. Come here, Pippa, Pippa, come here. Alrighty, so this here is Pippa, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, she's only four months old and she is a sweet little angel. I'll hold her up so you can see her full size. So that's her, that's it. Like there's her tail, by the way, she does have a tail, but that's Pippa basically right there. Aren't you honey, hey? 
you don't like being held up on your own, do you? You like cuddles. And she's such a sweet girl. She's still in her puppy nibbles phase, as you'll see. Oh, but I have no regrets in getting her at all. Jake absolutely loves her. Like, she's just been the sweetest little addition to our family. So, we love her, don't we? Yes, except for when she bites our face. But anyways, I'll put her down because she's crazy. But that's Pippa. But yeah, so that's basically us up to speed. At this present time, Jake and I still don't have internet installed at our house. For some reason, our phone line is jacked up, so we can't have internet. So hopefully that is going to be sorted today, which is why I'm home from work today. Today's actually Monday the 14th. But anyways, actually, I'm going to quickly do my eyeliner off camera because it's stressing me out. I can't see properly. That's better. So we're all done with eyeliner. I'm still figuring out my setup. So I'm still figuring out exactly what looks good. Right now, I'm just using natural light too. So let me know what you think. I think that the color balance will change a lot, which is kind of difficult, especially if you've got a dog running around in the background that's going to mess around with the color balance. So let me know what you guys think with it natural light so far. I don't have my ring light or anything turned on. But yeah, like I said, that's pretty much us brought up to speed. So it's kind of like a combination of all of these reasons as to why I have not been able to make videos. Most recent reason would definitely be having no internet. I'm super happy with how this house has turned out. It has turned out absolutely perfect. I'm gonna grab my mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. But this house has, yeah, really turned out perfect. Like considering we're renting and we can't do too much, like obviously we cannot paint the walls, we can't change the flooring, we can't do all the permanent stuff. Pippa! She's got a squeaky toy. But seeing how we can't do all of that big stuff, I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. And if you guys ever want, I am happy to do a house tour, but I won't do it like if no one's interested, for example, because I don't know, I kind of don't mind the idea of doing it because that way I can look back at this in time and say, that's what our first house looked like. That's what it looked like when we first moved in, because who knows, we might still be here for another two years time and we might completely change the house around and rearrange it and so on and so forth. So I personally wouldn't mind doing it just to kind of document this part in my life. But also I'm putting it out for the world to see. So if the world doesn't want to see you, then I won't do it if that makes sense. So let me know if you would like a house tour. Just as a forewarning, 99% of my house is Kmart. Like I know you guys saw my homeware hauls and everything. Pretty much everything you see in the frame right now is Kmart. So just a warning. It's going to be like a Kmart home tour, basically. <laughs> and as a side note of the whole moving in process and moving out, I actually met one of you guys the day that Jake and I were moving. We were at the local shopping center. I won't go into too many details because obviously I want to keep my location private. But we did meet one girl. Your name was Nicola. I remember you because you came up to me while we were in the freezer section. And on that day, because we'd been moving stuff, obviously I didn't get ready like this. I didn't care how I looked. I had like the hor most horrible top bun and no makeup. I was sweaty and I had the shittiest outfit on. Like I look like a mess. And you came up to me and you said that you recognize me. Hello, like I can't believe I'm meeting you, so on and so forth. And I just thought, this is so sweet, but you're literally meeting me on my worst day. So if you're watching this, Nicola, thank you for coming up to me and saying hello. I'm so sorry I look like a mess. But yeah, that's basically brought us up to speed. And um, oh, I should address my hair. I just totally realized I haven't addressed it. So obviously I don't have the purple hair anymore. This hair I've had for like a fortnight, maybe three weeks-ish. So I went completely dark brown. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I just got sick of having the red and the purple throughout my hair and it was just time for a change. I'd had that purple hair for at least a year, maybe a year and a half. And so I wanted something different. I was sick of having dark regrowth with purple pinky tinges and I just wanted something normal, something basic. I have not been my natural color since I was like 15, no joke, 15. So I figured it was time to go back to my roots. So it took a bit of adjustment because obviously when you dye your hair dark, it makes your skin look paler. So I've even fake tanned. Oh my God, that looks terrible. <gasps> I hope it not has looked like that that whole time. Oh my God, that looks horrible. Why does that look so bad? <gasps> oh God, and I forgot to paint my nails for you guys. I had so many high hopes for this video. I'm still gonna put this up anyways because you guys deserve an explanation as to why I have disappeared for the past like six months or so. But yeah, anyways, so that brings us up to speed. In terms of what's gonna happen in the future, if I'm going to be back making videos regularly, it all depends on if the internet gets turned on this afternoon. 
Fingers crossed it does. Please, God, please. I'm so sick of using my phone data for everything. But anyways, that pretty much brings us up to speed for today. And I have to go out before the NBN guy gets here. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing this video. But other than that, I will see you guys hopefully in the near future. Fingers crossed for me that the internet gets fixed today. Fingers crossed. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.